Welcome back to Dark Points, everybody. This is Ron, and tonight I'll be uh, taking you on a brand new PS Extra binge. Yeah, all these games are free to play on PS Extra, and I've been playing them. So here we go, Sniper Elite 5. Uh, I was so glad uh, when this uh, appeared on Extra, and uh, it's, a, it's a great game. It's a fun time. It's the first time I've played one all the way through um, with co-op. Me and Jake played it uh co-op like the whole game usually i mean i've done a few of the games that way but uh, you know if you're not starting the game together someone's like more level than someone else or they don't want to play that level again because they've already played it and yeah that tends to happen but man this is so much fun and it makes the game um almost easier or more enjoyable i should say when you're playing as two people because you can be pinned down and your buddy can just be sniping away and it really makes the game, I, I don't want to say funner, but <laughs> I think I've said it up. But yeah, it's uh, it was a good one. Sniper League 5, yay! All right, life is strange. Life is strange, isn't it? All right, so it is a kind of almost an FMV, but it's it's a choose-your-own-adventure style game. And uh, the main character can uh, turn back time. And uh, really cool setup. And here she goes. And uh, really cool setup. And I, I like her character for the most part, but everybody else in this game is repugnant. And uh, it's just, it's, I got about, I would say, five hours into it, and I was playing it slow. And I just, I don't know. I just, I, I got sick of it. I got sick of the extreme characters that are not realistic. And it just, everybody is awful in it. Uh, it's it's like they wrote half a character. There's There's no humanity to anybody. Um, except for maybe her, but, and then there's this poor girl who's been tortured and she's clearly suicidal and her parents are, like, hating on her. It's just, I don't know, the game just bothered me, and, uh, I was done. Alright, moving on to, this is the mouthwash now, Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Uh, I had no idea what this was. I saw it show up and I was like, this looks kind of cool, and I started playing it and I was like, I don't know if this is a kid's game or not, uh, but it gets real hard. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a kid's game, but uh, my daughter loves it, and in three or four days, she did what I did in two weeks, because I was only playing so much of it a night. Uh, but yeah, she loves it, so I guess kids like it, but it's hard, man. It's hard for me, but again, I'm an adult. It's, uh, you know, you got the uncharted climbing, and that gets weird sometimes. Sometimes you'll you'll just drop off of it. Um, sometimes it's it's not game breaking or anything. It's just once in a while it gets it gets irritating. Uh, the fighting too is great or tolerable for the most part, but there are certain fights where you have to do certain things in a certain amount of time. And uh, you know if you're playing it on easy, you get enough life to do it, but it just it just slows everything down. Um, but good game. Okay, moving on to Midnight Fight Express. This is the cover. For Midnight Fight Express, I guess. Uh, do you like my friend is my my friend Pedro, or do you like Hotline Miami? What was that one Speed Runner or uh, Speed? I can't remember, but uh, the one on the bus. Uh, this game is great. It's very much aping my friend Pedro, but uh, it's just an enjoyable game and each level is is very different from the next like as you see here he's in a, a level where everyone's uh, killing each other with pillows it's a, it's a pillow fight level I don't know why I'm stuck in a room there but <laughs> uh, and then there's uh, there's cars and uh, bikes and boats uh, a lot like my friend my friend Pedro uh, is it better or is it just ripping it's not the same company so it's kind of like they're ripping that off um, but I do enjoy it, except for this boss. This boss was a pain in the ass. It took me like four nights to beat that. All right, moving on to Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed Single Player. Why does it say single player on there? Uh, so yeah, it's Destroy All Humans 2. I was uh, This was one of the first games I played on, on the PS2, I think. I think I rented it or something, and I really enjoyed it. I, I don't remember how far I got, but it's so weird coming back to this now because I just played uh, the first re the remake for Destroy All Humans 1, I guess, and uh, I got so used to that playstyle 
and now going to this one, it's so different. It's it's Grand Theft Auto Alien. Um, I think this came out just a little bit after Grand Theft Auto, but it's it's like a small open world. You're in San Francisco and you can run around, and uh, there's just different missions to do. Um, but yeah, because of that, I don't like it as much as uh, the first one, which I just recently played. I liked the way that one uh, played a little more. This is hard. It's a hard game. All right, unpacking, I'm so happy to tell you. Okay, I might be a ham. I might say this all the time, but God, I just <laughs> started playing this game and I couldn't stop. It might be the greatest game of all time. I've heard, however, that it's, it's pretty short. So uh, when it gets to that point where the game kind of runs out, maybe I'll feel differently about it. Uh, but for now, oh my god, it just, it's so weird. It's, it's, you're just unpacking stuff and putting it away, but it's so satisfying, and you just, you just don't want to stop. It's, it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I don't know if it looks boring to you, but, uh, as soon as I started playing it, it just clicked. Uh, maybe OCD or something, but I just, I couldn't stop unpacking. <laughs> Alright. Now, moving on to Chicken Police, Paint It Red. Um, you know, it's so what it is, is it's a noir, black and white, uh, kind of detective, uh, talky, point and click kind of thing. It's not a point and click uh, in the way that you uh, have to solve like a puzzle on the screen to go to the next screen or whatever. A lot of those point and click games are just puzzle solvers like Grim Fandango. This is, uh, and I, I don't know, no, that's, is that a point and click? Anyway, moving on. Um, so a lot of the game is people oh, talking really? to each other, but Please, you have some I'm investigative skills. Guy. So it's like this mix of like Philip a sort of point and click with like a, uh, Mr. like a Sherlock Mr. mystery Mr. solver. And you have Please. tools to decipher if people are lying Look, Miss, and uh, you I have interview points. It's, it's interesting. It's not great, but I, I like it so far. All right, now Cursed to Golf. Uh, this was a weird one. I just didn't know what else to play, and uh, thankfully this didn't turn out like doggone golfing. It's actually fun to golf, even though it looks uh, weird on here. I, it's not Angry Birds. I like that style, kind of like in Golf Club Wasteland, that, that Angry Birds pull back the thing and fling it. Um, I really like that, but this this is just as good, and it's, it's pretty fair, except when um, the, the levels are randomly generated. So, uh, once in a while, see this area here? That's just a death trap right there. You got the downward part and then the sand right after it. Uh, I... Yeah, there's there's parts of this level, or this game, that you just, you start panicking. But, for the most part, other than that, it's, it's pretty fair. And, uh, the only difficulty thing is that you have to play... It saves every level you beat, but you have to do all, team, all 18 holes in a row, and if you fail, you start all over again at hole number one. Mm, yeah, yeah, I know. Otherwise, great game. <laughs> All right, dreams. Uh, I this is not really me playing dreams or using the game maker. I just got curious uh, about uh, all the games on here and just thought I would check them out now. Um, you know, because dreams has been out for quite a while now, so I thought there'd be some cool stuff on there, and there is. And uh, a lot of different weird shooters, um, they're not the most mind-blowing thing, but they're still fun uh, for a while. Uh, but again, you know, yeah, there's I haven't found a game yet in here that I just would want to beat or play all the way through. Um, but the big reason um, I, I did this was because I heard about Tren, Train, Tren, whatever, and I wanted to try it out. And apparently this is uh, uh, one of those games that uh, people really love in Dreams, that kind of... Uh, I, I don't know who made it or the story behind it, to be honest. I should probably look that up. But uh, it is cool. It's enjoyable. I see why people are talking about it. It's uh, it's fun and weird and simple. And uh, not as great as unpacking, but pretty cool. And uh, yeah, worth, worth checking out all that stuff just for curiosity's sake. All right. And now I got to talk about some games from my last PS Extra binge that have now burned me. And that's hence the fire there. Um, so, let's start with uh, A Hat in Time. I mentioned how much I loved it, and uh, just how just a pure platformer it is, and it's great. But the camera problems? Yeah, I mentioned that in the video, too. The camera, like you saw there, the camera is terrible, and uh, it's, it, 
it ruins certain parts of the game. But look at this beautiful, uh, this beautiful area here, and uh, there's so many parts like this. But then the difficulty level goes way beyond anything. Like here, you got a marching band, like basically hunting you down, and you have to race them. And it's like, okay, I. I was able to beat this level after a long time, and it was infuriating, but I would never want to play this again. There's, there's no replay, replayability here, because half these levels are just... Uh, they're just pain-inducing. It's like a PS1 platformer where it didn't quite work, but you, you still you worked through it and tried to beat the game, and then just became impossible at some point. Um, but I, I am going to try to beat this one. It's just also, I should say, the boss fights are freaking insane. They're like seven... Uh, tears instead of you know three hits it's like at least seven or more they are so hardcore but uh, yeah so that's my complaint with that one and uh, okay now Far Cry Primal this is a much different complaint uh, basically I, I did end up beating the game I played it all the way through I got almost everything except for two trophies two trophies away from the platinum the trophies were tears of shame where you kill and skin a trained animal and I did that uh, three times in three different ways and the trophy never popped. And then I sat on a hill and just shot at people and wildlife from more than more than 70 yards away, almost 90, like way off in the distance, and I'd get headshots and all this stuff. And that trophy never popped, the uh, shoot a person from 70 feet trophy. Just never, never went. And so I, I'm i glad I beat it, and I played it all the way through, but uh, what the hell game? And I, I keep looking it up, and uh, I don't see anyone else talking about this. All right, and uh, final complaint of the night. Sorry to end the night with uh, complaints, but uh, uh, it's only fair. Uh, all this stuff has been bothering me. But uh, so Alan Wake is um, great, and I played the whole game, but I had not played the DLC when I made that video the last time. And uh, so now I've played through all the DLC, and I gotta say, it's almost not worth it. It's it's all the same set pieces. They basically just reskinned or used the same assets. I mean, this is pretty early DLC, so I guess that was kind of the way it worked at the time, but the story itself is really nothing, and then they just use all the same characters and all the same areas that you've played through before and just move a few things around, um, which is a shame because the game itself is great, but I, I knew there was going to be no answers, and that's the problem with this thing, is you know that <laughs> it's just not going to end well. All right, so there you go. Thanks for watching. That was all the games I played on PS Extra, and they are all available now, so go check them out, everybody. Thank you for listening, and good night. Good night.